chapter. I'm glad to hear uh, Bibles uh, turning because I said to my deacon yesterday, computers is all right, but you know, a computer carry a lot of mess in it. It ain't, it ain't the Bible. Y'all miss that. I said the computers, you can hit some buttons and got all kind of mess there on computers. I know it's the up-to-date thing, but I said the Bible, I think, is meant for the church. Uh, yeah, you can use it for home study, but I, I just love to see them pages turning. Is that all right that I, that I, I didn't hurt nobody feeling it? All right, amen. Uh, the ninth chapter of St. Luke, starting at the 57th verse. Look with me as I read. And it came to pass that as they went in the way, a certain man said unto him, Lord, I will follow thee wheresoever thy goeth. And Jesus said unto him, Foxes have holes, bird and birds of the air have nests. But the Son of Man have nowhere to lay his head. And another said, and he said unto another, Follow me. But he said, Lord, suffer me first to go bury my father. Jesus said unto him, let the dead bury their dead. But go thou and preach the kingdom of God. And another also said, Lord, I, have followed, I will follow thee. But first let me go bid them farewell, which are at my home. And Jesus said unto him, No man have put his hands to the plow, and looking back is fit for the kingdom of God. Is that all right? Be seated in the presence of the Lord. And a certain man, it could have been me or you, said unto the Lord, I will follow thee wheresoever thy goeth. And Jesus said, I want to let you know something. Uh, foxes have their holes. And they, they, can, they can go in the holes when trouble comes. The birds have, or they have their nests. They can fly above trouble. But the Son of Man have nowhere to lay his head. I want to talk this morning from the subject, determined to follow Jesus. I got any determined people in here. After all you've been through, after what you're going through, and you're still determined to follow Jesus. If I had not been determined and fallen in Jesus in the many things that I face, my brothers and sisters, I don't believe I would be here today. If you want to succeed, be uh, determined to succeed in whatever, uh, whatever you're doing. In order to get an education, you got to be determined to succeed in getting an education. Same thing if you are determined in getting a home or a car, you got to be determined enough to do what it takes to get what you need. Determined, determined. Things is not going to just walk and be placed in your hands all the time. Right. Look at somebody, tell them handouts is gone. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah the handout, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Put that hand back in, hands out. They're all gone. <laughs> if you want to be happy, you've got to determine that I'm going to be happy. 
I'm not going to let this day pass by that I don't smile or smile at somebody. And I'm not going to fake it. I'm going to be happy about something. Might not be what you lack I'm happy about, but I'm going to be happy about something. I'm just a happy, happy, happy. And I do believe if people would be determined to be happy and be determined to put a smile on their face uh, from their lips, I do believe life would be more better for them. Don't you hate to see somebody coming in all frowned up? Oh, no, no, no. Y'all, y'all like to see somebody on the job. And so, you, so you can ask them, what's, what's wrong? Right? What's going on? There? But I'm determined, uh, even if I'm broke, act like I got some money. Even things not right in my home, uh, I'm not going to walk around uh, acting like I'm a lady. I'm determined that sooner or later I'm going to get it right. And we can get it right if we are determined to get it right. If we are following somebody else besides God, you're following the wrong person. What we need to do, my brothers and sisters, we need to follow somebody that is about somebody and about something. Anybody want to follow a nobody going nowhere? And don't know nothing and ain't doing nothing. Ask them what's going on and just, just say so and so. Don't even know what's going on in their life. But I, when you're determined to be somebody and, and nobody can do it no better than I do. I've been in some high places and, and I know how. I, I might not be a senator, a governor and all, but I tell you, I know how to make it uh, look like I'm determined one day to be one. And I do believe that that's why I got in many places because it looked like to them that I was going to be somebody. And, I, I, and, I, and probably they said to somebody, I believe he's going to, because they asked me to be mayor. I said, oh, no, not, not in this city. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> Lord have mercy. If church people is mean, <laughs> what am I going to do without that being a mayor with the whole community? But thank God I'm determined to stay where God places me. And I do believe when we are determined to follow the leader who is God, he will show you what to do, when to do it, where to do it, and how to do it. Many are following many things, but not following Jesus. Uh, I wonder if there are somebody, just one person, I don't one per- person from each side, anybody here that is determined whatever I'm going through, I'm not going to let that stop me from determining to get to the next day. Don't you know in order to get to the next day, I got to go through the day. So I'm determined to get over this day in order to reach the next day. In our text, and Jesus, I love the way Jesus put it. Jesus said, a certain man came to him. And this could be me or you. You went to a lot of people and said, if you need me, call me. And you see their name on the telephone. You don't answer it. I hate they put that ID call on it. Uh, but I just pick up the phone and say, Hello. My wife look it over and see, and y'all do too now. Yes, you do. And if you don't want to talk, you're going to determine who you're going to talk to or not talk to. Am I talking right? Uh, but Jesus said, uh, he said unto Jesus, Lord, I will, f- unto the Lord, I will follow you wherever you go. That's a big statement. And, uh, now, now, I don't see. Yeah, don't y'all follow me everywhere I go. Sometime I'm on the boat in a storm. But he said, "I'll follow you wheresoever you go." That's a big statement. Jesus wanted him to know something. You better watch what you say. See, we have to be careful what comes out of our mouth real quick. Statements can get us in trouble. 
See, if you tell me something I expected, if you say you're going to be with me, I want you to be with me. If you're going to be there, I want you to be there. I don't want time to wind blow from the wrong, uh, wrong uh, uh, way. Uh, you're ready to go. But I want you to be right there and we face this thing together. But my brothers and sisters, Jesus wanted him to know the situation you're getting in when you become on my side. Some of us would have never thought. Would have never thought you uh, would meet people that would be so evil. Let me tell it like it is. You, know, you thought when you came on the Lord's side, it's going to be floating and everything. You smiled for about two weeks. Yeah, everybody was on your side. Huh? Ah, Brother Morgan, you're a good man. Yeah, Brother Brown, you're a good man. Whoa, about a month later. Uh, some de determining ideas came in their mind and, uh, and we get to let the devil put some thoughts, uh, uh, evil thoughts, wrong thoughts. Uh, how many know the devil will place thoughts in your mind over good people that means good for the church and mean good for God, but evil people will put thoughts uh, in your mind by the way they treat somebody else uh, or either the way they look at you. God. I wish I wish people couldn't frown. I'm ugly enough. I don't need to frown. Why well, I need to put some wrinkles in my face and act like I'm I'm ugly enough. I let me try to smile to make it look a little better. And my brothers and sisters, Jesus said, the fuck have their holes when trouble come they can take refuge and, and they can hide and, and get away from, the, from their prow and, said, and the birds they have the nest that when they see something coming they, they got wings they can fly above the trouble below sometime we got to stay Jesus said right down here and face the enemy you got nowhere to run the, he hems you in sometime so Jesus said I want to let you know when you come on my side you're going to be lied on you're going to be cheated you're going to be thought of of being nothing but don't be wearied I promise to never leave you Jesus said now I want to tell you these things because uh, uh, the son of man have nowhere to lay his head uh, he said now, this didn't mean and I don't want you to think that Jesus didn't have nowhere to go he had a throne in heaven he had a place to go, but while he was doing his father's will, he had to stay among the thieves and robbers and take the disturbing things that they would do to him and, and face the reality of what it taken to make us free. And Jesus had to suffer. He had to die in order to prove that you can do it also. I know some of you, some of you have been uh, surrounded, uh, surrounded by many things, and you just had to stand still. Haven't there been times you wanted to open your mouth and curse somebody out? That <laughs> won't long ago, was it? <laughs> I, I know I'm talking right because uh, uh, even Paul, I can back it up with Paul. Paul said, when I desire to do good, that old evil man steps in. Uh, and the things I, I, I should, uh, shouldn't do, I find myself doing it. Uh, you, you got to watch yourself. You'll find yourself doing some things you shouldn't do and, and then blame God. But we need to know that this didn't mean that Jesus could have quit any time. But he said, no, I promised my father that I'm going to do the will of what my father sent me to do. But he came to teach us and to show us how to be determined servants. All of us that are born again must be determined servants. 
Uh, there's no big you and little me. We are in this thing together. We are servants of God. We are just like Jesus once we are on his side. We are not to look to be served. But we are to be servants to others. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't look for you to pass me a glass of water all the time. Let me pass you some water. Let me feed you also. This is what love is all about. And, and I said, what is hurting the church this day and time? Fellowship have left the church. You don't have to go outside the church to have fellowship. There should be fellowship among ourselves. Uh, and, and, and Brother Paul said it like this. How can we say that we love God and have not fellowship with one another? He said there's come a time that we got to get together uh, uh, bosom to bosom uh, and hug to hug and let people know we are going with you all the way. So, so he's trying, uh, Jesus is trying to teach us how to be determined service, that servant, that we can live through difficult times. And if you don't believe you can live through difficult times, you keep on living. Either you live through it or you die through it. But thank God I got something that I can, I'm living through this thing. Uh, uh, yeah, and if, if, if it takes to going to the devil's den and, uh, and take back what he stole from me, I'll go there and I'll tell the devil I shall live. I'll tell death I shall live and not die because God holds death and, ha death, uh, and life in his hand. That's the reason I can boast and say I shall live. If I die, I live. If I live, I live. It's a win-win thing. It's already been fixed that if I die, I'm going to live again. If I'm in Christ, I'm going to live again with Christ. If I'm out of Christ, I'm going to live in hell. There will come a time when, when doors will be closed in our face, when people will turn their backs, when... They would think evil is good. They would think if they kill you, you they're doing your favor. How many know you can be killed by words? By disappointment. There'll be times when you wonder, is there any word from the Lord? Things get so difficult and you're tied in sickness and problems and things are not going that way and you're praying and, and you're hearing the gospel and something is not sinking down and you're wondering within your mind, Lord, is there a word for me? I know somebody say they got this, but I need something deeper. All you got to do is stand still and be determined to follow what Jesus said. It might take, take the fox chasing you in order to turn you from, around from the wrong place. Uh, I don't know about you, uh, but I'm determined and I hope I got somebody on my side in this church uh, who is determined to go further and higher, who is determined while it's harvest time, I'm going to the fields and I'm going to gather my harvest because the harvest is ripe and we want to eat uh, because this comes from the Lord. It's good to be determined to follow Jesus. Some following Jesus just for the fish and the loaves. Yeah, what they can get out for themselves and not out of Jesus. Ah, but I heard the Bible said that man shall not live by bread alone. But by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Uh, my brothers and sisters, on this journey, it's not for fame or riches. Uh, it's not for getting on top of the mountain. Because it's high, you get there. Because sometime you can be like Moses. You can go to the top of the mountain and still not get to the kingdom land. Uh, oh, God said, I'm going to take you up and let you see Canaan. But you can't get there. Because you've done some things. Uh, and now 
why you can't cross over. Oh, but my God, if you determine to face reality as it is, if you're willing and determined that I got to cry on this journey, I got to suffer on this journey, I got to be put out of my house, my car possessed, my house possessed, I got to be determined, be determined not to stop there because what I had is gone, but I got another day before me. So my brothers and sisters, uh, I'm determined what God promised he is able to fulfill it. <laughs> Am I right about that? <laughs> Have God ever promised you anything uh, that he didn't give to you? Oh, no, yeah, 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 yeah. If he promised it, you just didn't wait on it. <laughs> you, th- you wanted it yesterday, and God said it might be a year. <laughs> oh, yeah, you wanted that house uh, last month, but God said it takes five years. Uh, didn't David say, wait on the Lord, uh, be of good courage? Didn't, didn't Isaiah say, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength? Some time to get our strength it takes waiting and you got to be determined to wait you have to wait on your medicine pill don't work time you take but I'm determined I'm going to take this pill and something else going to happen after a while. I'm going to feel a little better than I felt a, a few minutes ago. Oh, that's how Christ is. When you come in feeling down and you get in and hear a song of Zion, when you hear the word of God, or when you hear a testimony, oh, your soul gets filled and you holler out, thank you, Jesus, just for another day. determined that God's going to be my leader and where he leads me I'm going to follow thank God he led me and is leading me in the green pasture because he tell him it's harvest time son whatever you want uh, the fields are ripe now. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, summer is gone. Ah, uh, uh, winter coming on. But the fields uh, are ripe. Uh, get your gleaners. Uh, tell the gleaners, uh, get their bags. Uh, we are going in the field, uh, and we're going to gather what we need uh, to get over. Somebody ought to shout glory. I'm determined, I'm determined. To let him lead me beside the still water. I'm determined to, to let him lead me in the path of righteousness because his rod and his staff shall comfort me. I don't have to worry about uh, the devil when Jesus has surrounded me with protection. Uh, I'm glad uh, his goodness uh, and mercy is going to follow me all the days of my life. And I shall, I will, I will dwell in the house of the Lord for if I'm determined because his anointing uh, anointed my head and that all made my cup run it over. Have you ever been just so happy? You, uh, you didn't know how crazy you was getting. Uh, you, you didn't know you was doing what you was doing. Uh, and somebody looking around with that anointing. Uh, oh, it went to running all down uh, from the top of your head uh, to the sole of your feet. Uh, you said you weren't going to tell nobody, but you just couldn't keep it to yourself because people don't know like you know what the Lord have done. That's why, that's why I'm determined to follow, to follow Jesus. You know, fox, Jesus brought up this fox because a fox is supposed to be cunning. He, 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 he's slick. You got to be wise to get a fox. Traps, you got to be a good trapper to trap a fox. But he used a fox and he said, they can get away from you. Oh, but I got news for you. Even if you try to go in the foxhole, God can find you. How I many know you can run, but you sure can't hide? Oh, yeah, you can try to run. How many tried to run and not come to Jesus? And he found you out there and had to bring you back in. He had to drag some of us. We didn't want to leave. 
Yeah, but he drug us back in. When God wants to use you, he'll do what it takes. To get you in. So in our text, uh, Jesus uses the fox and the birds that, that the fox uh, uh, would have their holes uh, when trouble and the, and the birds would have their nests uh, uh, to fly and find service uh, to reach uh, out of the reach of the enemy. And aren't you glad that when trouble come our way, when the enemy comes our way, God has given us something that we can rise above the enemy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. God have given us power, and all you got to do is learn how to use the power that Jesus left for the church. God have given us power that when your enemy and your foes come against you to eat up your flesh, they think they're getting to you, and they stumble and fall. And David said, though an host encamp round and about me, he said, I'm not worried. Because I'm determined the God that I serve. He's able to bring me out. Uh, and I'll be like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And if he doesn't bring me out, uh, it's not because he can't bring me out. He just want to carry me through something. It's not punishment. It's for lifting me up to a higher height. How many know God have to carry you low in order to bring you up sometimes? So when trouble come your way, God have given you wings, anointed wings through prayer. You can pray and be lifted up above. That's what's trying to close you in. Uh, the devil want to close you in and make you think that nobody is on your side. But I want you to look at somebody and tell them I'm determined to stay with God because God is on our side. And I don't care how hard it rained. I don't care how the lightning flash or how loud the thunder roll. I'm determined to stay with Jesus. Though cancer arthritis, heart condition might rack my body. I'm staying with Jesus. I'm determined. I'm determined. Are you determined? Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life said no man can come to the father flowers if you want to get to the father you got to stay down here and do hardship as a good soldier you're a soldier in the army and I have given you what it takes to take you through the battle oh we wrestle not against flesh and blood oh no 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 but against the principality the powers that are in our place spiritual wickedness oh my brothers and sisters we got to be careful because the devil is racking our church with all kind of mess but I stand on the promise of Jesus I'm there with you and I'm going to stay with you always even till the end of the world Paul said I I want to tell you something. I'm determined regardless of what state I'm in. I might be in a bad state, but I've learned to be content. I might not be satisfied, but I'm going to be content for however it is. Lord, I know you able. I'm sick now, but I know you able, and I'm going to keep praying, and one day you're going to stop by my house, and you're going to make everything all right. How many know that he'll stop Stop by late at night, early in the morning. I, I'm about to, I'm about to. So I'm determined that nothing shall separate me from the love of God. I'm determined to keep on uh, the whole armor of God. I'm determined to stand against the wow of the devil. I'm determined to win. I don't know about you. I'm a win this race. I'm a run if my shoes wear out. I'm a run. I saw when they buried Bishop Long. They had a pair of shoes. They was all turned over. All oh, the soles was off. They had them in the 
casket. They said, this bishop uh, have traveled uh, so many miles. Uh, I want to be uh, a traveler. I don't want to be a sit down Christian, but I want my feet uh, to trod the dusty roads uh, while I'm down here uh, that when I see Jesus, he will say, well done, uh, thy good uh, and faithful servant. Somebody ought to shake somebody's hand uh, and tell them uh, I'm determined, uh, I'm determined uh, to keep